Japan is renowned for its advancements and culture, having gained an exceptional reputation over the years. From culinary creations to tourist attractions, entertainment to technological breakthroughs, Japan is a country that has something new to offer. Here are 15 unique occurrences that can only be found in Japan. Number 15 is the public bathhouse, or sento. These communal baths became popular during the Edo period, when private bathing facilities were scarce. Today, Sento are still a popular tradition in Japan, offering visitors a variety of sizes and styles, from vintage-inspired baths to modern and luxurious ones. Men and women typically have separate bathing areas, and there will be a dressing room where items can be stored in lockers or committed storage areas. It's important to note that Sento usually do not provide soap or towels, so visitors must either rent a towel or bring their own. Beginning the bathing process is easy with the shower stalls, complete with stools and buckets for pouring warm water over oneself. Be mindful not to splash others, and once you enter the baths, remember to place your towel on your head or a side, not in the tub. It is also important to note that children must not bring toys into the bath, and splashing is discouraged. Though public bath houses in Japan may seem strange, once you become accustomed, they can be a pleasant experience. Cat cafes are also becoming increasingly popular all around the world, especially Japan. These unique coffee shops allow visitors to sip their favorite drinks while being surrounded by cute and playful cats. Although they may be difficult to find, as they are commonly located on higher floors of buildings, they offer a great time. Keep in mind that many places only allow visitors 13 years and older. At cat cafes, visitors are allowed to pet the cats as much as they would like, but picking them up is not allowed unless the cat initiates the interaction. Do not feed the cats any outside food, and try to avoid using flash photography when taking pictures of the cats and the cafe. Whether you are a local wanting some feline companionship or a tourist looking for a unique experience, cat cafes are the ideal spot to visit. In 1978, Tamayuki Ono, a graphic designer, created the cube-shaped watermelon, which immediately became a popular item due to its practicality and attractive shape. Refrigerators are able to store more of these square watermelons due to their shape, which prevents them from rolling. Furthermore, they are easier to slice because they stay in one place, making them safer and more convenient. Unfortunately, cube watermelons are not as sweet as their round counterparts and can be quite costly, at up to 200 each. Subsequently, they are not seen as an everyday fruit, but instead as a luxury. Since the invention of the cube-shaped watermelon, heart-shaped and pyramid-shaped varieties have also been created, enhancing the experience of fruit shopping. Moreover, these unique watermelons can now be found in many countries, such as Japan and Germany. When someone first visits Japan, especially Tokyo, they will be amazed by the countless vending machines available. In fact, 2 million of Japan's 4 million vending machines are devoted to selling drinks. Surprising not only in numbers, but also in the variety of options available, vending machines in Japan are a marvel to behold. From the usual water, coffee, and soda, to the more unusual offerings of sweet bean soup, shrimp broth, and Indian curry, as well as hot alternatives like soups in the winter, these machines have something to suit everyone's tastes. Additionally, Fruit vending machines featuring items like bananas, pineapple sachets, and chopped apples have gained in popularity, as have machines that offer both drinks and snacks. The same can be said for tobacco vending machines, which, despite Japan's regulations on drinking and smoking for minors, are still common. All this is a testament to the innovation of Japan, providing a glimpse into the plethora of products available at one's fingertips. Also unique to Japan is the use of shokuhin sampuru, or plastic food models, used by restaurants to display their dishes and entice customers. This tradition dates back to the late 1800s, with artisans creating them in the 1920s. These models, made from polyvinyl chloride, are highly customizable and can capture regional variations. They have become an integral part of the culinary culture, and are also used at weddings where elaborately decorated dummy wedding cakes are displayed. Finally, Japan boasts incredible high-tech toilets, known as washlets, which are loaded with amazing features. From spraying water at the user's backside to releasing pleasant scents and soothing sounds, these washlets are a marvel. 
They are also easy to use, with a control pad on the toilet or a remote control pad mounted on the wall. So popular have these toilets become that, in 2018, the Japan Sanitary Equipment Industry Association had to create standardized symbols for the buttons on them to avoid any confusion among tourists. It is remarkable that Japan has emerged as an international center for toilet technology. Scientific studies suggest that the traditional Japanese squat toilets, known as washiki, are actually healthier. These toilets have been the standard in Japan for thousands of years before the Western-style toilets became popular. You can still find washiki toilets in many public restrooms in Japan, so don't miss the opportunity to try them out when you visit. Butler cafes arose as an alternative to maid cafes, where waitresses dressed as maids and catered to male customers. Female anime and manga fans, referred to as otaku, were not keen on the idea, so they wanted a place where they could enjoy the company of male companions in a romantic and safe atmosphere without breaking the bank. Swallowtail, the first butler cafe, opened its doors in Tokyo in 2005 and quickly became a hit. Butler's Cafe, another notable establishment, even employed Western men as butlers, allowing customers to practice their English. Butler cafes are known for providing a superior experience. They focus on the atmosphere, and customers are welcomed with warm greetings and addressed with titles like Milady, Princess, Young Lord, and Master. The cafes offer delicious food and drinks, all served with the utmost care. The interior is designed to look like a luxurious English country home, with beautiful furniture and decorations. The butlers are extensively trained in the art of tea preparation, proper etiquette, and outstanding restaurant service, and they take their roles seriously. At certain cafes, such as Butler's Cafe, customers can even enjoy photo services, capturing special moments with their butler. These experiences are sure to be unforgettable. At Butler Cafes, a code of etiquette is enforced for both staff and customers in order to create a secure and respectful environment. Exchange of personal information or scheduling meetings outside of the cafe is generally not allowed. If you're looking for a luxurious dining experience with a taste of aristocratic life, then a Butler Cafe is the place to be. Have you ever heard of people staying in compartment hotels? Well, Japan's capsule hotels, also referred to as pod hotels, offer a super modern and cost-effective accommodation option for travelers who don't require a fancy room. In a capsule hotel, you will find your own personal box-like pod, which is the size of a single bed. Inside the capsule you will find all the necessary amenities, such as a TV, air conditioning, electronic console and electric sockets to charge your devices. Moreover, these pods are stacked up one above the other and can be accessed by ladders or steps. Additionally, the pods can be sealed with either a curtain or a solid door that can be locked from the inside. Furthermore, shared facilities such as showers, toilets and free Wi-Fi are available. Some capsules even have pools and leisure activities. These hotels come in different sizes, from 50 to 700 pods. They are usually popular with men, although some hotels feature female-only areas or floors. When you arrive, you will have to change into a yukata and slippers and can store your belongings in either lockers or room safes. Lastly, these hotels are extremely budget-friendly with prices ranging from 2,000 yen to 4,000 yen, which is equivalent to $18 to $36 per night. Industrious salary men who are in need of a place to stay after a tiring night out or a missed train find solace in Japan's amazing capsule hotels. Many people even decide to rent one for an extended period of time. If you're looking for an inexpensive place to stay, the capsule hotel experience is perfect for you. Now let's talk about Japan's famed love hotels. In the 17th century, during the Edo period, Special inns and tea houses were built with secret entrances and tunnels catering to the needs of prostitutes and their clients who sought discretion. Following World War II, small family run lodgings called Turakomiado became popular, providing simple accommodations for those in need. The introduction of the automobile in the 1960s saw an increase in love hotel use as Japanese homes had limited privacy and married couples needed an intimate haven to escape to. In 1984, love hotels came under police jurisdiction due to a regulation law, 
prompting hotels to tone down their extravagant designs and target women as their customers. In 2010, the law was further amended, blurring the line between regular hotels and love hotels. Finally, let us explore the fascinating world of Japanese mascots known as Yurukiera. These adorable characters are used to promote various things like towns, tourist attractions, and products in Japan. They have a long history, dating back to ancient polytheism and Japanese folklore, and have become incredibly popular due to the introduction of Damakan Nippon Hosokiakai's mascot and the success of Hello Kitty. Yuru Kiera play a vital role in promoting tourism within their respective regions, and in some cases, have generated a lot of money for their prefectures. So, next time you come across a charming Yuru Kiera, remember that they represent a cultural phenomenon deeply ingrained in Japanese society, capturing hearts and bringing prosperity. Subscribe if you enjoy.